Hey guys, my name is Snake, and uh, welcome back to another build video. And this one, um, <clears throat> believe it or not, not a lot of people ask me about it, but not a lot of people care. Anyway, so this is my uh, another build video. This is the my opinion one of the best ways to build dead eye in this game without using six piece because six piece dead eye is a complete pile of poop here's it is for those who don't know i literally made a video on this a while back but it was non-classified so here it is classified now obviously well, let me just show you what it does to watch out there's a manhunt detected near your position These represent like AIs. They don't give you a full thing. So this is scoped in at the body. You can see it's about almost half a million. And in the head, it's literally half a million or a little bit less. It's the exact same thing. Now if we pop a pulse, it's a little more. And if we pop a booster with it, it's about 600, you know. About right there. I don't even know if that's the 30 meters away type deal. And also there's a lot of other factors. I could be using a damage pulse. Before anyone says anything, <coughs> let me just go over what it is. So here it is. I use the M700 carbine with deadly prepared and competent. Deadly because of the crit hit damage is increased by 15%. It's the only talent that does that. Prepared because if they're more than 30 meters away, you get just another 50% uh, more damage. So it's already 30% damage when you're scoped in and you're from 30 meters away. And competent, which is another 10% damage. Um, so that's about, uh, you know, about 40% damage there when you're far, when you're more than 30 meters away, you're scoped in and you pop a booster or a, uh, um, a pulse. And there you go. You got 40% more extra damage. And then the MP5, MP5 is just a backup just if they get too close. I might switch it out for like a showstopper or, um, my AUG here because they hit harder, but you never, it doesn't really matter. The main weapon is obviously the sniper. Uh, which is not fully optimized yet as you can clearly tell nothing in this build is fully optimized because i've been optimizing other stuff so let's get to it so i use a reckless chest piece full of the firearms has skill haste health and uh, ammo capacity on it um this one uh you you do not need skill haste like at all when it comes to dead eye because there's no there's really no point in trying to get your skills back faster because you just sit there and continue to shoot down range with your sniper so um <coughs> pardon me so I would go with like maybe EAD, enemy armor damage, or uh, something else other than skill haze. I mean, it doesn't hurt to have it, but at the same time, it doesn't matter. But it's reckless, which is increased damage by 8%, and the increase incoming damage it doesn't really matter as long as you don't get shot. And my odd mods owner are firearms mod with health, because it just really matters that I have firearms on everything. It doesn't really matter what the second thing is, really, to be honest. Um, then to the Deadeye Mask, which is enemy armor damage, because like I said, you don't really need health, skill, power, or anything else on it, so I just did for extra damage of some type. Roll firearms, it has burn resistance, just because it did. Um, it has another firearms mod. Uh, the knee pads are crit hit damage, firearms, and just, you know, other talents. Um, let me go to the down firearms, and it's pulse critical hit damage mods on all of it. So all four of these are going to have post critical hit damage mods with firearms mods. Um, and then over here, another crit hit damage. Because like I said, this is focused on crit damage. I'll go over that in a second when I actually read you what dead eye actually does. Because I haven't done that yet because I'm an idiot. But um, if you go all the way down here, it's just firearms mod with more crit hit damage. Now on the gloves, I run <coughs> crit hit damage, enemy armor damage, and marksman rifle damage. Just because it's more damage, you do not need crit chance at all on this build. 
at all. Like, yeah, there's, there's, like, I've seen people actually run four piece dead eye and a tenacious mask with reckless because that also does work. So, when if you pop a med kit for yourself, you even get more damage. So, that's even more damage output. But here's what it, I did so you got the two percent, which is initial bullet stability, doesn't matter. The three piece is marksman rifle critical hit damage by 20 percent. So, nine there for right now, nine there. And then you got a uh, obviously deadly, and then yeah, twenty percent even more there. And then right here, when zoomed in, Marksman will lose his headshot bonus, but gains fifty percent critical hit strike chance when out of cover, and a hundred percent critical strike chance when in cover. So it doesn't even matter. So having critical hit chance on the on Dead Eye is pointless because it doesn't doesn't matter. It you already have a hundred percent when you're scoped in. The next in the five piece is the forty percent initial more bullet stability. So you get the forty from there, the forty from there, and then another twenty percent marks mindful critical hit damage. The six piece, what I don't use, because it's it's so counterintuitive to what the number for the fourth piece does. Well, anyway, I'll read it to you. When zoomed in, getting a headshot kill with a marksman rifle incre will increase critical hit damage by 20% every second to a maximum of 100%, and will increase his ability by 100%. It lasts for 10 seconds or until no longer zoomed. I mean, I can understand people using this with, like, I know Jasemian did a video uh, with it with the Hilder near, but at the same time, it's just like, you gotta get those headshots, and yet it only lasts for 10 seconds, it only stacks, it's just, to me, that's that's pointless. It's just it's counterintuitive. It's not even working because, like I said here, because right here it says marksman rifle lose headshot bonus, but then here it gets it. I don't. It's just so that's why I use five piece with reckless. You could also use tenacious if you don't have the mask, but this is what I use. Um, for my talents, I like to run a damage pulse, but when in the dark zone or in some other places when you know people probably run concealed, I just run a concealed or a scrambler. My fault, and I run a booster shot. For the talents, they're... What I really go with is critical save. Um, because, obviously, if you get low, you can pop a med kit, try to hit, help yourself out. Strike back, if you get low, you can run away and get your skills back faster. Uh, I run definitely on the move, because if you kill a guy while he's down... Or while, like, while you're moving, like, say, with your secondary, you can do that. But at the same time, there's so many other talents. Like, you, you could use a uh, completed cover to cover. This one, combined with... Um, this one are really good to be honest because that's damage to cover da during cover cover and coming damage is reduced and then this one is during the cover cover uh increase weapon damage by two percent every meter cover up for five seconds up to a maximum of 30 percent so you could actually technically get rid of these and run these so like i said talents the talents really don't like help too much because you don't want to get a headshot but if you do congrats if you manage to move and kill somebody you get this it's just like Running a dead eye, it's not really about the talents, it's about the weapon and the gear set. You just want to shoot and get all the kills. Can we? You just want to shoot, aim down, you're going to get into a spot, aim down your sight, get into cover, and boom. Two shot, three shot people. That's literally all it is. And you don't really need mods like this one to crit chance because it already gets 100% when you aim down range. Uh, so I'll, go, I'll just go into the attributes just because people like to see them. So there's the firearm stamina and electronics. My weapon damage is there. My critical chance is there. My critical damage is there. Obviously, like I said, this build is not fully optimized at all. So having this build fully optimized would be a lot better. As you can see, when I switched to the sniper, crit chance went up to 5.50. Weapon damage went up to 174, but the crit damage went up to 172. Headshot damage is that. Accuracy, stability, my range, reload time, reload speed. All weapon damage bonus, <clears throat> maximum rifle bonus, down to here, we got enemy armor damage right there, uh, your skill power, my skill haste, uh, survivability, toughness, all this stuff, um, let me go down to here real quick, I have skill haste on this just to get a little bit of skill haste because the other uh, attributes on the holster really don't matter, they're actually kind of pointless in my opinion, because it's like, it's like health, and crit chance and it's just like that's why I just run skill haste on the holster because why not but definitely the chest piece you could run EAD to get the I said chest piece you could definitely run EAD to get more uh, damage to enemy armor works out really well might as well do it um, anyway this has been a uh, snake DST hope you guys enjoyed and this is where I do a gay little pose to as an outro because just kidding restyle
Sorry, guys. I'm an embarrassment to myself. Bye.